but what it currently is. Uh, when people ask me if it matters, if residents speak up, if residents disagree, if residents uh, agitate, I always tell them about Beverly Worm. Uh, Beverly uh, has been in the neighborhood as long as I have been councilman and was here when Chris Warren was a community organizer, Chief Warren for Mayor Jackson, and was the first director of Tremont West. And so Beverly is, uh, is Tremont royalty, and I say that very respectfully because about uh, seven or eight years ago, Beverly was very concerned about the condition of Clark Field, formed the Friends of Clark Field, formed a very vital relationship with Carrie Hansen, Don Kasich, Director Cox from the Parks Department, Antoinette Thompson from the Parks Department, and slowly things started to happen in Clark Field. Um, and all the while, Tim Donovan, who has dedicated his life to the towpath trail, has been getting closer and closer and closer to Tremont. And he's only been able to do that because George Canner, who is our neighborhood planner for the city planning department, has been helping us do things. You might remember the planning commission's first neighborhood-oriented meeting happened in this room a few years ago because of George, when we passed seven pieces of zoning simultaneously that George was working on. And I know we still have a few more to do, George, but we got a good head start because of you. In the context of all that, we have people like Sandy Smith who are here working with folks like Becca Riker that the city of Cleveland opened its first dog park in this geography already. And I'll never forget the conversations that I had with people, many of them online, where people were very angry that we were building a dog park because they felt it was a waste of money. I was angry because I felt um, that we had way too many people dropping litter, dropping syringes, and doing things that were illicit in the Clark Field neighborhood. Because of working with the dog, Friends of the Dog Park, Beverly Worm and the Friends of Clark Field, the City of Cleveland working with our Parks Department, the dog park happened, and lo and behold, crime started to plummet in that area. We didn't have the kind of incidents that we had. Suddenly, John Baird, who's our phenomenal dog warden, was walking the dogs over there in the morning. It was a volunteer-driven, city-supported park, and it is still the only dog park in the City of Cleveland, and nothing makes my heart happier than when I go there and I see so many people using it throughout the year. Well, we also have a phenomenal mayor, and someone who I think cares about Tremont uh, more than anybody, who has dedicated millions of dollars to this plan. In spite of the economic downturn, in spite of how crazy uh, the, the Wall Street is, we're lucky because Mayor Jackson continues to keep Tremont at the forefront of his mind. He's got a phenomenal chief of staff in Ken Silliman, who is constantly telling me about how we are going to continue working this plan. Well, in the context of all of that, we have the world's best steel mill, right? We've got a phenomenal uh, shopping center known as Steelier Commons, and we have other uses in and around Quigley and Clark and uh, the um, West 3rd Street area that are very industrial, including the Impala. And I'm going to speak very openly here because um, I, I know you, and uh, I, I was a resident of the Menard Clark Castle Block Club for almost a decade. And I complained as a citizen to myself as a council person all the time about the impound lot. And things started to happen. Uh, director Flask, who's our safety director, started to ask for uh, improved signage, for improved upkeep, for making things look better and be better. And even though I was still someone who didn't necessarily think it was the highest and best use, I did see things start to improve, and I have to admit that because I have always been reluctant. So I go to the Block Club Menard Clark Castle Home in Muir Rally a few months ago, and we start talking about the impound lot, and some of the discussions that have been going on with the director, that the uh, director would like to streamline city operations, that the director would like to put uh, security, i.e. the police and um, clerk of courts team members on site when the impound lot was open, that it would be consolidated from all the other impound lots in the city of Cleveland, and that there would be north of a half a million dollars and more so in terms of improvements that would be made. And oh, by the way, Joe Zimmerman, the impound lot's not going to expand. So we brought it up at the Black Club, and the decision was made to come to the larger community to have this conversation. But knowing Tremont, we can't have a conversation about just one piece of the map. We need to talk to Tim Donovan about the towpath trail. We need to talk to George Canner about that and all the other plans that are in place for how we're going to continue to make that area continue to be a jewel. 
we've got to talk to Director Flask, not just about the impound lot and what he's working on, but also with, with uh, Director Flask and Chief Baird, because the city of Cleveland has a plan to remove the existing dog kennel and build a new one, because the one we have right now isn't that great. So that's where we are. And tonight's discussion, we've been joined by our phenomenal clerk of courts, Earl Turner's here. Thank you, Clavon, uh, Mr. Turner, for being here. Uh, tonight's discussion is going to start with Tim Donovan, who's going to give us a little history, 10 minutes, no more, of, of where we are with the Towpath Trail. We're going to hear from George Canner as well, if he wants to weigh in, and so we'll bump that time up to 15 minutes. Uh, then we're going to ask Director Flask to take the, the uh, uh, podium and talk a little bit about both the impound lot, what it is and isn't, and the dog kennel, and where that is. And then we're going to ask our partners from Parks and Recreation to talk about the Clark Field plan. That a funny thing happened on the way to getting Clark Field done, which is about a two and a half million dollar, more than that, project. When you look at all these projects in total, it comes to about ten million dollars. So there's a lot of potential investment. And why does that um, why does that speak to me? Because as you know, on West 11th Street, we've got four homes that have been built and have not yet been sold. We've got, in my opinion, an incredible opportunity to connect to Lincoln Park over the footbridge and literally create a green figure eight in the middle of the Tremont neighborhood where you have everything happening beautifully around Lincoln Park. You've got the play structures, you've got the pool, you've got places where people go and, and walk their dog and they sit. You've got Clark Field where you can play football, the kids can play baseball, where you can play soccer, where you can take your dog, where you can you know, adopt a dog at the kennel where if you're parked too long downtown, you can pick up your car and hang out with the wonderful clerk of courts and where you can go to Zorro, Ohio because Tim Donovan is figuring out a way for us to get there. So I say all that because I want us to appreciate the reason we're having this meeting tonight is to talk about all of this in total and I'm gonna ask all of our speakers to speak their time and then we'll take questions and answers afterwards. But there's a reason that we're doing this and that's that this is an incredible opportunity for the community. I was honest with you about my prejudices about the impound lot, and I'm going to shut my mouth because I uh, don't live in the block club anymore, and uh, the block club has educated me in terms of things that could happen as a result of everything else happening. A few things. Mayor Jackson has committed incredible resources to Clark Field. We're grateful. Tim Donovan is going to finish the towpath trail. We've got to come up with a fix for the dog kennel. And today, really, what we're going to be talking about, which is the newest piece of this puzzle, is the, is the impound lot. And so Director Flask and Clerk Turner are here to talk about 